Today, guys, on the Everyday Golfer, we are talking about not breaking, oh, we are breaking par, not the bank, with the Seed SD05 golf balls. So again, he's a premium golf ball, what we're looking at today, but coming in much cheaper than your conventional Pro V1s, your Chrome. So if you're looking at saving around about 20 to 25 pounds, as a wasp attacks me, you're looking to save around about 20 to 25 pounds with these golf balls. Again, we're looking at a three-piece Eurotheme ball. So for you guys out there who know your golf balls and have watched, obviously, Talking Balls, you will know here we've got Seed Soft Feel Professional Tour Golf Ball. Softer compression for more distance with lower club head speed. So this golf ball, again, looking for the everyday golfer, club head speed might be going down, might not be at its highest it's ever been, softer compression is helping you get as much distance as you want. So today we are going to be talking through a couple of shots. As always, we're going to be doing a nearest the pin here with James Robinson. We're going to be doing a closest shot around the green, which I'm going to choose this week. Last week was a bunker and it was a convincing victory for James, so we need to change it up. And we're also going to be doing a long drive that we're going to do now, but you'll have to wait. So first up, we're going to do nearest the pin out of the fairway. So we've got 155 yards to the flag. So for me, a perfect eight time. This golf ball is designed, it's very similar to the AVX and the Chrome Soft. So it's due to have lower spin, but also launch a little bit higher. So it's still gonna get you the height. So again, for lower swing speeds, this golf ball is, could be, perfect for you. So let's go in with the eight time. Last week's showing was terrible, so. That was a great shot. Again, launched. Much higher, again, I've a couple of shots with this. That that's was all over it. Just crept on there, so that should be pretty good. But launch high, James, yeah? What would yeah, you I quite like the look of that, to be fair. So, um, one thing we mentioned on my channel, I think it would be nice to see, you know, if maybe they put different colours in here. So the Seed SD05 could be kind of blue, whereas the SD01 could be green and another one be red. And then it just makes it a little bit easier to identify them, I suppose. A little bit, you know, like the Pro V1 with the colour in. Yes, exactly. A red number or a blue, a blue number. Le bleu. A blue number. Le bleu. Or a black number. I've got a six out here. Oh, you might have to control what in. So also you'll see on the website nicely they compare it to the golf balls, obviously, so you know exactly what you're comparing to. There's nothing worse than thinking, I'd like to try that ball, but what does it compare to? What are you using at the moment? And how is it going to be any different? Look at that. Honestly, that great. felt glorious. Great flight, just to the left of mine. So it could be one up to me on this occasion, but interesting that you could fight it down, James. Yeah, that was one thing that I love testing as well. And I'm not going to probably put this in my video as well, Chris, if you don't mind, because it's something that's absolutely huge. If you are buying a golf ball and it says it's a high launch, yes, it's designed for a high launch with standard kind of characteristics of launch, but can you flight it down if you need to? Because for me, I need to be able to do that with the game that I play. I've managed to do it there. I'm not sure if it's enough to take the victory because Chris did play a really good shot, unfortunately. But, yeah, really happy with that, especially for the price. See where they are. So up here now, nicely a time. Just landed on the fringe here, but James has fantastically flighted six time, just a little bit long, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't fancy that putt, Chris, if I'm being brutally honest. Yeah, that's a big swinging putt to there, but. Right, we're gonna do a chip shot just here now on this same green here on the 17th hole at Woolley. We've got a tight lie. I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit of zip. We know that it's a, three-piece ball we know it's a urethane cover very similar to a pro v1 and this is where we start to see the pros nipping them up james yeah we're downwind a touch are we because that does kind of go. a little bit across that does just kind of dictate how much rpm you can get this is where you really need to test your balls guys around the green you need something comfortable so you can start chipping closer if we do that we're going to lower your scores that's a fantastic shot from james Oh, I'll tell you what. True to form. That felt fantastic. A great motion there. James has been chipping fantastic. That's close. Can I go closer? Right, let's see. Can I beat it? James has put me in a divot here, so let's just <laughs> let's know for a reasonable while. I know what he's like. Can we just assess what you're calling a divot? It was in that little hole there. It's not a divot. It's a little divot there. I've absolutely brushed the turf there with the bounce on this. Brush the turf? Rokey. Oh, positive. Tell you what, go, 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 go. Oh, such a shame. Needed another yard. Two good chips again. Feels pretty good off there. So feels exactly like it would with a Pro V1. That wasn't a perfect strike, 
but it still reacted exactly like I would think. It's not popped up like you might think from a cheaper ball. Yeah, those balls the other day from Amazon, they were popping up left, right and centre, weren't they? Yeah, there was Wilson's, but again, 80 pence a ball. Might be what you would expect. Let's get to a longest drive. <laughs> right, we're just changing the numbers over because uh, I'm a one, yeah, and I think one. Chris might have tried to slyly get me there because he's he looks, looking like a desperate man at the minute on his own channel. Right, I've gone for a seed number four. So really what is stopping you buying this kind of golf ball? You're saving up to 20 pounds or just over. Again, alignment A's, is it durability? That's one thing that we haven't looked at so far. That's one thing that's very difficult to test uh, unless you're a very consistent golfer. Does durability actually come into play for most golfers, do you think? Probably not. Again, you think, do you change a golf ball if it's got a scuff on it? Highly unlikely. The pros do, but the pros get them free. If you're playing for a golf ball and it gets a little blemish on it, you're probably not going to change it. So is that going to change you buying these golf balls? It also says on the Seed website, these are kind of supposed to last you two plus rounds. So around two rounds, how many times have you played the same round of golf with one ball? It's been a long time for both of us. Did you James. do that at Lake Nona, I think? Lake no, uh, no, I did lose one on 15. Yeah. Yeah, I was flying it two under and then hit one of James Robinson's quick lefts. So uh, didn't quite last, but got to get the line here. I'll tell you what, that is a knuckle. Look, that's not a high flight ball either, is it? No, there. Again, it's all dependent. It can fly high depending on your impact positions, but there, obviously, I took a little bit of loft of it. It still stayed low. It's come out there with hardly any spin. Was and that struck as well? I might struggle to get past that. It was. Oh, it was. I was consistent today towards the toe. It felt struck. Again, feel solid off the face and could get victory. James is in with his new driver. He's had a bit of a switch up. Gone for more forgiveness. Not been swinging well at the moment. It's gone for forgiveness. The Ping LS Tech. Yeah. G430. Well, it's a very similar line. Tell you what, this is going to be so close. Launched ever so slightly. Oh, that's got a nice. That must have to sprinkle. That was, a, if you look at the strike pattern as well, like to be honest, that's exactly where you want to get your driver out of, isn't it? A little bit toey. Nice low fly. I'm really impressed with those flights. Can I steal these from my video as well, just to show people, because it's a lot better than what I had earlier. <laughs> That's it, a sprinkler head, that. Right, we've arrived at the balls. What number were you? I was a four. <sighs> what number have we got? James is saying. As usual, absolutely thrashed by 30 yards. Mine must have sat quickly there. Hit off a sprinkler head, 30 yards difference. Are you hitting in? I'm going to hit in. He's going to hit in. Oh, it's another tricky pin from it is, isn't it? Stew. But this is where, with like a European cover three-piece ball, can you send it long and just get it to spin back a little bit? You like a nice pitching wedge. Nice pitching wedge. I'm going to zoom in for you. Looks good. Bit of spin. Yeah, stop dead. Flag high. Stop. Pretty dead. It's not really a flag you're going to take on, is it? So I'm taking that all day. So guys, that has been the Seed SD05 golf ball. So a very affordable golf ball, saving you some money, but and performing exactly like you would want it to perform. So interestingly, on the website, if you go onto the link below, you will see that there's plenty of options now out from Seed comparing to different golf balls. So if you have been using a different premium ball, so Pro V1X, a Pro V, a TP5X, there's a lot of options on there for you at an affordable price.